Isabella, thank you so much. Yeah, you did no a beautiful problem. job. Thank you. And I have to tell you, we have to hurry because Isabella is on her way to the uh, Guggenheim yes. Museum. And what are you going to do? Um, it's like a works in process, and so I'm doing an excerpt from the new Millipier Ballet. That's Benjamin Millipier, Benjamin Millipier yeah. who is a principal dancer of the New York City Ballet. Yes. And, and now becoming a choreographer as yes. well. <laughs> okay. So you've been, and so you have been in American Ballet Theater? Uh, well, I'm now second year core, so I'm pretty much, this is my second city center season. So I'm, I've okay. been there about a year and a half going on my second year. Okay, so just so you don't think everything is serious here, uh, Isabel has, I think, I had asked her what were her worst experiences uh, in, in ABT. And well, I can think of a few. But uh, I would have to say that the all-time worst experience I had with ABT was <laughs> it was my second show as an apprentice. We were doing uh, Le Corsair, and I didn't have to go on until the very end. I had this tiny little entrance, and so I got ready really early. I was hanging out backstage, and I'm like thinking about other things, and suddenly I hear the music, and I'm like, oh my god, I'm supposed to be on stage. So I run out. And all the other girls, I was doing Pasha's Wives, all the other girls are out there bowing. <laughs> I'm like freaking out, I don't know what to do, so I just slowly crept on and <laughs> bowed. And nobody noticed, none of the ballet masters noticed, somehow, miraculously. Um, but later I got a talking to by some of the girls in the core. So that's what <laughs> you get for It was not very amusing. So early, too. Yeah. Anyways, they didn't fire me, so it was okay. Worked so you out. had another mishap, though? Uh, yeah, this past Met season, I was doing um, the White Swan double, which is like uh, during the Black Swan scene when the prince like swears his love. Um, you're back there behind the... Yeah, you're like high up on a platform and the lights shine on you and you flap and then the prince realizes his error and... Um, so I wore uh, this Swan Queen tiara that was like about two sizes too big for my head. And I never pinned my swan headpiece, so I didn't even think to pin it. So I got up there, and as soon as the lights went on me, the tiara fell over my face, so I couldn't <laughs> see anything. I had this crown across my eyes, and you have like 16 counts of flapping, and I thought I was gonna fall off. And uh, afterwards I heard everyone just thought it was so hysterically funny, except for me, once again, <laughs> did not think it was very funny. <laughs> but actually, um, we shouldn't really uh, take those stories too seriously because uh, Isabel is really um, coming up, I think, in the company because you're also learning well, some, some, so. other, some other roles now, too. Yeah. Some um, soloist roles. Like, uh, I'm learning one of the soloists in Ballo della Regina. The Balanchine, which is wonderful. It's wonderful. It's yeah. so fun. Yeah. And, uh, one of the paradas from Leaves Are Fading. Just a bunch of stuff. It's really exciting to be dancing a lot so you, and So just to, a lot. to quickly go back for a second, so how old were you when you started dancing? Uh, I was three, but I mean, I didn't take it. I mean, I was doing like creative movement and I was doing a lot of other stuff like gymnastics, ice skating, and then oh. eventually I quit everything else and uh, realized that maybe I was talented at this and stuck with it. So has it, it always been easy for you to study ballet and to learn? <laughs> I can't say it's always been easy. It's almost never been easy, but it's definitely been like gratifying. Because you're certainly and, gifted physically. I mean, you have beautiful proportions, and you're turned out, you have the legs and feet people would die for. Well, thank you. Yeah. <laughs> well, I mean, I don't know. It doesn't hurt, but it doesn't mean you don't have to work hard. Well, you are working hard. She worked very hard today. And anyway, we have to let her go because she's got to uh, okay. be, get on stage very shortly now. So thank you, Isabella. Thank you so and much. Good Thanks luck to you. Much. And we expect to hear great things. Okay, about you. <laughs> I hope so. All right. Okay.